Alright, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to evaluate an expression you do. We're using order of operations. Uh, a lot of, a very kind of quick reminder for order of operations, a acronym we like to use that helps people do it is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And what that pretty much means is, this is kind of your order of operations. This is what you're going to do first. Now if you guys remember, we have also been working so much with solving equations that we've always done the reverse order of operations. Because order of operations tell you always do what's inside the parentheses first, then to do your exponents, then to do your multiply divide, and when you're doing your multiply divide, make sure you do them from left to right. So it's not so much you have to do multiplication before you do division, but you just have to make sure you do the leftmost operation first. And the same thing with addition and subtraction. Always work from left to right. Okay? So if I first look, go and look at this problem, um, I can go and see that, well, I have brackets and I have parentheses. Brackets in math are going to have the same exact uh, quality. They're going to do the exact same thing as our parentheses. So I first look inside. I'm not going to be concerned with this 4 because it's outside of my brackets. Then I'm going to go and look inside here. And I have another set of parentheses. And I notice that this is going to be the first thing I'm going to do because this is the innermost parentheses. So therefore, I'm going to do this operation first. So therefore, I'm going to do 10 minus 2. So I'm just going to rewrite. I'm just going to do this step by step so you guys can see. 30 minus <coughs> 10 minus 2 becomes um, 8. And then times 3. Now I go and look at this. And now I have, I have a choice either to do subtraction or multiplication. Since I'm following the order of operations, it says to do multiplication first. Okay. Now you might say, well, subtraction is to the left. It doesn't matter. Since multiplication division is first, that's what you're going on your order of operations. That's what you have to do first. So I do four times thirty minus eight times three, which is going to be twenty-four. 30, and then again, I'm not multiplying this 4 yet because this 4 is outside the parentheses. So therefore, I have 4 times 6, times six and then therefore that is going to give me 24. Okay, just a couple of last things to remind you. Make sure you always do inside the parentheses first, and then you go and work on what's outside the parentheses. Make sure you follow your multiplication. Do always that first before you do your disintraction, and then always work from left to right. And remember that this is opposite of what we did for solving equations. When you're doing solving equations, you do the reverse order of operations. Okay? So that's how you evaluate an expression using order of operations.